what's good youtube creator house here back with another video so today i decided that i wanted to draw something and turn it into a 3d model which is something i've never done before so this is like my first test and uh this notebook i bought a couple days ago this is pretty nice so i decided to use it now i am not the absolute best draw in the world i am actually pretty garbage even my blender models are pretty garbage too but i am working to better that those skills because i like film animation so all anything to do with video cameras and all that so this is the model this is a ramen vending machine that i hope to turn into a a, a nice little model and stuff well a low poly model i'm not going to do too many high polys Cause that's annoying i don't need my computer to crash make sure y'all follow me on my socials at the bottom and hit that subscribe button now i'm gonna go ahead and make this uh the vending machine model so just watch a little speed art Okay, now I'm going to skip ahead to when I make the text, and this is go this was the part that I want to be on the side of my vending machine. Beautiful. This is like all the little stuff that's supposed to go on the um, you know, like the words out of, out of uh, Japanese lettering. And then I had modeled the. I skipped ahead to when I modeled the bowl. And made the little noodle things on the top. This is actually pretty easy. I just used the spirals to make this little round thing right there. I just went ahead and skipped that because it wasn't really important.
Now, skip ahead. I, these little letters, I didn't model this in Blender. I actually used a program called Illustrator and just S exported them as SVJ files. And it just made my life so much easier. Ain't nobody got time to sit there trying to model all that. Now, um, for this little brick ground, I just added a wall factory, and that is something you have to add in your preferences. I think it's extra objects, I cannot remember. And then uh, I decided to uh, just, just keep it clean, low poly, simple. I was going to do something a little extra with it, but I decided not to. Maybe a little bit of displacement, but other than that, not too much. Keep it nice and simple. Nice and gorgeous. Alright, now I I had added the clouds and some part a particle system. This is something extra in the background. It, I needed to fill the scene a little bit. The clouds, if you guys want a tutorial on that, I'll let you know. Because my computer kept crashing and it did not it just did not like those clouds for some reason. I probably had to free up some space. <laughs> a quick little jerk break because that was a long that was, it took me like hours to do this this video so not even hours uh days <laughs> because i had stuff to do but anyway back to our regular part schedule program let's take it in the substance painter substance painter is actually a pretty great program for those of you who don't know a lot of you should try it
I'm just gonna fix my uh, scene and finish it on up. Add some cherry blossom trees. Uh, you could do this by adding by enabling the sapling tree sapling thing in preferences and just add in some trees and some some leaves. You can change the color and everything. And then once that's done, the final result. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you like this video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully I have one out pretty soon. Peace.